Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine. Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine. Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine. Wanna move my feet. Hello guys and welcome back to day three of our workout program being on it during this lockdown. So today we are gonna be doing some circuit training and it's gonna be a really good workout. We're gonna be working all our muscles from our head to our toe and we're gonna be getting our cardiovascular system working as well. All you will need is a chair, a really sturdy chair that you can't move and some dumbbells. If you haven't got dumbbells, please don't worry. Go to your kitchen cupboard and just grab two tin cans and they will work perfectly. Today during our circuit training we are going to be doing a 40 second exercise period with a 20 second active recovery. And we need to make sure that we're moving those feet to get the blood traveling back up to the level of our heart and preventing any sudden drops in blood pressure. So it's important that we don't just suddenly stop in between the exercises. So do hit that subscribe button along with the bell and you'll be updated with the next latest video coming your way. Right folks, let's start with a good warm up. So let's just mobilize through the shoulders, loosen up. Good, just crossing, alternating the hands, standing nice and tall, tuck the tummy in. That's it, loosen off there, good stuff. Excellent, okay, and then we're just gonna go for an alternating knee raise. Good, nice and easy. Take it just as high as you wish. So holding onto the back of the chair if you need a bit of support. Otherwise, let's see if we can do some alternating touches. Let's go for four and three, two, and one, super. Now a little knee bend, so just a little squat, and again, holding onto the back of the chair if you need to. That's it, a little bit bigger, if you're gonna take it down to level two. Good, and a little bit wider still, a bit deeper, just to warm up there for four. That's it, pushing the bottom out, three, two, and one, well done. Marching on the spot, excellent stuff. So just keep those feet marching, we're going to circle the arm all the way up, round and back. Good. And again, circle all the way up, round and back. And with the other side, circle up, round and back. And lovely. Take a look over your right shoulder, back to the centre, over to the left, centre. Now bring that chin down to the chest and then centre. Brilliant. Good. Roll those shoulders forward. Three, two, and one, you've got it, roll them back, and four, three, two, and one. Nice wide stance, I'm gonna do a hamstring curl, so kicking the heel to the bottom. Let's go for four, three, two, and one, and walk it out. So today, every time we're doing active recovery, it's a walk on the spot, a heel pump, or a jog. So starting with a sit to stand, we're gonna take a seat onto our chair, shuffle the bottom forward, Lean forward and push your weight through the heels and come up in for a stand. Now level one, if you're on a chair with arms, you can use the arms to help guide you, but do make sure you're pushing up through the legs. Get the legs working for you. Level two, you can cross your hands over in front. And level three, you're gonna see if you can slightly increase the speed, and just as your bottom touches, you can lean back up again. Good, so it's a touch and up, touch, and up, good, steady breath, that's it, good, and you've got three choices here, so level one, you're just going to go for a heel pump, seated, shoulders back and down, level two, you're just going to go for a walk on the spot, now level three, if you're feeling a little bit saucy today, we're going to go for a little jog, just a little jog, you've got two seconds, one and down, good, now come and take a seat, grab your weights, and roll your shoulders back, body up nice and tall, and we're in for a bicep curl. Good, now as we're doing a bicep curl, I'd like you to wiggle your toes in your shoes. Now, you can come in for a heel pump if you've got some good coordination, and that will get the blood pumping even better around the body, so you're not placing any strain or stress onto your heart as you're exercising with weights. Good, keep that going. That's it, shoulders nice and low, steady breath. Remember you can use your tins at home if you haven't got weights. Good, pop the weights down and you're back in for a heel pump. Level one, march on the spot. Level two, 
Level three, feeling saucy. In for a little bit of a jog there. Well done, guys. I'm watching you at home. You're doing really, really well. Good, get ready to take a seat again. Here we go, take a seat. Right, grab your weight up nice and tall, relax your shoulders down. And we're gonna go for an alternating press and down. Now I'm gonna to turn to face you. This is level one. So we're pressing up and down. Up to the ceiling and down. Now level two, you're gonna bring both your arms together, pushing up and down. That's it, well done. Up and down. Now level three, you're gonna take it up and a little pulse and again and back to the ear. Good. Up. A little pulse, up and down, super stuff. Steady breath, little pulse, and then down. Good, well done. Put the weight down to the side, back in for a heel pump. That's it, or you go for a march on the spot, or remember it's that cheeky jog. Good stuff. Now we're gonna stand up and come round to the back of the chair, and you can bring your weights with you. And I've got my tin cans here just to show you as well. Lovely, and we're going to a sumo squat, nice wide squat, so we're going to squat down and lift up your right knee. So level one, you're holding on to your kitchen sideboard or somewhere nice and strong. Level two, you're going to take it a little bit deeper, and then you're going to bring the elbow to the knee. Good, elbow to the knee. Level three, you're going to touch the floor. You're going to come up and bring that knee up. Good, touch the floor, up, elbow. Now work at the right level for you. You don't need to be keeping to my pace. You need to be working at a pace that suits your body. Start at level one, have a go. And then when you've redone the circuit, you might want to have a go at level two. So active recovery, this is the rest time. Hill pump or a march. Remember that sauciness in you, bit of a jog. Good stuff, you've only got three seconds. That's it, and down. So what we've done on one side, we're gonna do it on the other. So we're gonna go for a squat, and you're gonna lift up the other knee. Remember, level one, up nice and tall, holding onto the side. And it doesn't matter high, how high you bring that knee up. It's all about what you, your body can manage. Level two, good, and a knee. So we're gonna bring that knee into the elbow now. That's the way. Level three, you're touching the ground. Oh! Touch and lift. That touch to the ground changes this movement all together. We're working your core a little bit more. Good stuff. Okay, nice and easy hill pump. Level one. Level two, in for a march. Three, in for a jog. Right, 10 second jog left. We can do it. Get ready for some punches coming up. So we've got punches, level one, no weights. So soft supporting knees, alternating punches. So you can hold the back of the chair, alternating. Good, level two, get your weights. We're gonna go two forward, two up, two forward, two up, level three. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good, now choose your level. Whatever you're on, make sure that you're keeping a nice steady pace for you. I'm gonna go back to level two. Up, up, so you can see the difference. Lovely, okay, back in for a hill pump, active recovery, or in for a march, or you've got that jog. I'm gonna take it back for a march. That's it, keep it going. So coming up, we've got a side step, and we're gonna add in some arms as well. So I'm going to show you at level one to start with. So we're going for alternating tap and back in, alternating tap and in. Level two, weights close to the body, tap and in, tap and in. Level three, you're going to add in the arms, so they're coming out and in. A bit like a seagull move, we're doing a side lunge, good, and we're adding in some deltoid, some shoulder work at the same time. Double whammy. That is how we like to work. We want to do multiple muscles in the body rather than just focusing on one. So now we're really warmed up, we can get that all going. Good, let me know how you're getting on today at home. So let's go in for a nice easy hill pump, or it's a walk, choose your level. 
Feeling saucy? Yeah! In for a little jog. That's it, keep it going. We've got a one-armed row coming up, so you will need your weight for this one. So grab hold of your weight, roll the shoulder back and down, pivot forward from the waist, flat back, and you're into a single one-armed row. Now level one, just take it steady at this height. Level two, what I'd like you to do is pivot forward just a little bit further from the hips. The further your back is flat to the floor and parallel, the more it's going to work the back. Level three, you're just going to make sure you're using the right weight for you. So you feel like you're really, you know, getting a good workout coming from the back here and the bicep. This is where dumbbells are a little bit more handier than your tin cans. Good, okay, active recovery. So what do we do? Hill pump, level one. Stay on this level if you're happy. This is a really good level, guys. Two, march. Three, jog it out. Okay, I'm gonna take it back for a hill pump. That's it. Good, on to the other side. So pick your weight up again. Roll the shoulders back and down. Soft supporting knees, pivot forward from the waist and you bring the elbow close into the body. Good. So level one, you're quite upright. So you're into a trajectory heading up to the ceiling where the wall meets the ceiling. Now level two, you're gonna come back and go a little bit flatter. Nice flat back, hold that core in. Level three, you're gonna make sure that you're really squeezing between the shoulder blade as you're bringing that weight up there. And you've got the right weight for you. Super steady breath, keep that going. Good, weight down. Active recovery, here we go. Option one. Option two. Saucy option today, yes. We are bringing some sunshine to you guys at home on this Monday. Do leave me a link below if you enjoyed this exercise routine. A bleak crunch. So what we're doing here, level one, holding onto the side, raising your knee just a little bit off the floor and then tapping it down. Level two, you're bringing it up a little bit higher. Good, and you're gonna really crunch in. That's it, level three, both arms towards the temples and we're gonna pick up the speed. Good, now if you feel like you're losing your balance, Spread your toes out, reach your toe, your big toe, your little toe, and your heel into the floor. Hold on to the side if you need to. That's it, keep it going. Come on, keep that pace, you know you, know you can do this. Good, okay, back in for a heel pump. That's it, steady heel pump. Or it's a march, or it's a jog. Come on guys, feel the energy. You're gonna feel so good after this. You are gonna be like, yes! I've completed a whole 20 minutes, this is amazing. We can keep it going, on to the other side. So a bleed crunch. So again, level one, holding onto the side. And you can just bring the knee up a small part off the floor, so a couple of inches. Level two, let's take it a little bit deeper. Good, more energy. Level three, okay, we're picking it up now. Picking the pace, crunching to the side. That's a steady breath. Pull your tummy muscles in all the way through as you're doing this exercise. If you're feeling like they're starting to sag out, check your form, stop what you're doing, pull it in and off we go again. Form is so important. Good, keep it going guys. Okay, in for a hill pump or in for a march. You've got this now, you know what's coming. In for a saucy number, yes. Okay, so we've done the whole circuit. And one. What we need to do now is go back to the beginning into our sit to stand. So come around this way. I'm going to just push my weights back here. Good. So level one, just coming up for a nice, easy sit to stand. Use the arms of the chair if you need it. Level two, cross your hands over. Level three, as you're coming up, you're going to take your bottom down, sit, oh, and imagine it's hot coals, and come back up again. Oh, that's it. So we're really starting to work those quads. You've got your glutes working, your calf muscles. That's it, steady breath. Now you don't need to be the same pace as me. You just need to be working at a pace that suits your own personal body. Good, you can do this. And down, yes! Okay, in for a heel pump. You're on the way. So rest it here if you wish. March it out. 
or be a little bit saucy, going for a jog, whatever you fancy. Get your weights ready. So I'm going to go back with my dumbbells. Okay, I'm going to turn slightly to see you a bit more. And we are into a bicep curl. So this time we're going to alternate our bicep curl. And we are going to do a hill pump at the same time. So this is really going to get your brain working and coordination. Because, let's face it folks, every year that goes on, we do lose a little bit of our ooh, agility in our brain. So this is a good way to get our brain exercising as well. Steady breath, shoulders nice and low. Good, keep it going. You've got this guys. Doing really well. It's going to feel so good after this. Okay, weights down. In for a hill pump, or it's a walk on the spot, or it's a little jog. So choose your level. I'm going to march it out. That's it. So we're going to go in for a shoulder press this time. So get ready for that coming up. Here we go. Taking a seat, choose your weights. Level one. You're just going to go for an alternating press and down. Lovely. Bring your weights down to about your ear height. Level two, we're going to push up and down. That's it. Push up and down. Level three, we're coming up and then we're doing a little pulse and then back down. Here we go. Up, pulse, up and down. Good. Up, pulse, up and down. Come on. Five seconds. Up, pulse, up and down. Good. Whatever level you're at, you can rest now. <laughs> in for a hill pump, that's it. Or in for a walk. Or it's a jog. Good stuff. Now we're going to come round to the back of the chair, keep those feet moving, whichever level that you're on. And we're going to lunge it back. So, I hope you're ready for some lunge backs. So level one, tapping the foot behind. Level two, you're gonna bring your arms up and down. Good, level three, grab hold of your weight. And we're just gonna go for a little bit quicker on this one. Steady breath. That's it. We're gonna be really working through the cardiovascular system as well. Get that heart rate going. If your arms are feeling this is a bit easy, grab those tin cans. That's it. Keep it going. Five seconds coming up on the clock. You can do this. Investing in your health. Good. Weights go down. Easy heel pump. That's really important. Like I said before, you keep your feet moving throughout a workout, especially when we get a bit older, because our baroreceptors within our cells start to slow down, and that's all age related. And they send the signals around the body, so we have to help them out. Okay, we're heading into a sumo squat. So we're going to take it down wide, a small squat, and we're going to pick up that right knee again and lower. So it's a squat, lower, that's it, good. Level two, here we go. We're going to bring in your weight, and we're going to squat it down, and then lift. Squat and lift. Level three, weights go down. We're going to touch it down. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up, good. Now we added the level two of weights this time, just because you're on your last round. And I know that you can do that. Okay, in for a hill pump. Super or a march. Good, or a jog. You should be feeling like you need that recovery. If you're not feeling yet you need that active recovery, you need to work that a little bit harder. Pick it up just a little bit more. Other side, here we go. So wide sumo squat, good. Lift up with the other knee and pop it down. Wide squat and lift. Good, level two, bring those weights back in. Squat and lift, squat and lift. Level three, touch down, here we go. Touch down, in, touch down, in, touch down, in. Good, let's work it, work it, work it, people. Come on, we can do this. It's the start of a new brown week here. Let's go, go, go. That's it, steady breath. Easy heel pump, march on the spot, or jog it out. 
Good, I'm gonna go for a jog option this time. Keep it going, punches coming up. Remember your level from last time. Do you want to increase it or are you happy where you are? Good, level one. Alternating punch, if you've got the sideboard there for a bit of stability. Level two, you're gonna go for one, two, ceiling, ceiling. Good, now keep your knees soft. That's it, back strong. Level three, go for four punches, okay? And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, more energy, here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four, yes. Nice, okay. Easy heel pump. So nearly there. So we have got our lateral lunge coming up. So level one, you're not going to use any weights for this one. You're just going to step it out to the side. Get ready. We're nearly there, counting it down. Here we go. So it's a step out together. Step together. It's better if actually you face the chair. I was just trying to show you on the screen. Good. Level two. Are you ready? Let's bring those weights in for this one. So we're taking it down and in, down and in, good. Level three, lateral raise. So we're just bending at the elbows. It's great, so let's less pressure on the rotator cuff there. When you're coming out with straight arms, it does increase that pressure, which you can do if you know your shoulder joint is nice and strong. That's it, keep it going. And in for a nice active recovery. Good. Heel pump or walk. Feeling saucy? It's a jog for your last 10 seconds. Go on, guys, keep it going. So we've got a single one armed row coming back up. So we're going to start that on our right side. So we're going to change it into a flat back. So we were starting with the other arm. Last time, now we're going to go straight into the right. Good. Steady breath. Do you know what? I think I've got my right and left muddled up because I'm doing opposite. Do you know what? It doesn't really matter. As long as you've got a weight in your hand and you are exercising. Level two, flatten that back a little bit further and come parallel to the floor. Level three, pick up a heavier weight. Steady breath. Good. Keep that going, nice and steady. Breathe and up. Active recovery, well done. In for a hill pump. Walk it out. I mean, you can even just, just walk it around your room. You know, you want to keep your feet moving, change your scenery. Imagine that you're out and about. Yeah, let's do it. Good stuff. Okay, so we're just going to do that one more time onto the other side. Up nice and tall. Come pivot forward from the hips. Other side, good. We've got this. You can do this, guys. Okay, so we're going to go for level two if you wish. Flatten that back, come forward slightly more. That's it. Good stuff. Level three. If you want to change it for a heavier weight, please do so. Nearly there. Steady breath. Good, you've got this, guys. Keep it going. This is actually going to be your last one. You have made it all the way through the workout. Well done. Fantastic work. Right, whatever you do, do not stop. Do not turn this off yet because you need to cool down. It's really, really important that you get that cool down in. So just keep those feet moving on the spot. Nice and steady. Good stuff. Right, now we're going to lunge it back. So we're going to go for four and three and two. And one, now push that back heel flat into the floor and bend your front knee. Feel that lovely stretch coming through the calf muscle. Good, steady breath, in through the nose. Whew. Out through pursed lips. Feeling good after a bit of exercise. Bring that leg in, here we go again. So we're gonna go for four, three, two, and one. Now push that back heel flat into the floor, bend your front knee. Both feet facing forward, steady breath. And breathing out through pursed lips. Good stuff, now bring that leg in. 
hamstring curl. So really with this leg here, nearest to you, up, and two more. Last one, and hold here. So you're gonna hold onto your trousers or onto the ankles, soft supporting knee. You can use your chair there for balance or place your hands out in front. Good, you're stretching your quadriceps. I'm gonna to turn to face you just here. That's the way. Now, if this is too tricky to get into this position, just place your toe onto the floor, lift the heel and tilt the pelvis forward. Good, steady breath. And out. Well done. Hamstring curls again. Okay, let's start with this leg. Ready? Here we go. And four, three, two, one. Hold it just here, holding onto your trousers or onto the ankle. Soft supporting knee, stretching that. Front, front or fry. Blah. Can't get my words out today. Front or thigh. And we're better as your quadriceps. Steady breath. And again, what you need to do if this is feeling uncomfortable for you, put your toe into the floor, lift the heel, tilt the pelvis forward. Breath in and out. Well done. Nice, easy heel pump. Just walk it out, shake it out. Good. Lovely. In for a chest stretch, bring the arms behind you up and away. Good. If you don't have any problems with your fingers or wrists, then you can clasp your hands together and push up and away there as well. Lovely. You can lace your feet flat onto the floor and just arch over the back of the chair. Good. And then stretch your arms right up to the ceiling and open out to the side. Good. And again, so we're going to arch over forward. Good. Now slowly reach up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Open and out. You guys are amazing. You are on it, on it, on it. Well done. Keep up the good work. I hope you enjoyed today's session. If you did, do hit the like button, the subscribe along with the bell and leave me a comment below. And if you fancy going on Instagram, you can go hashtag on it, uh, Jojo Marcinikova, and I would love to hear from you there too. So until tomorrow, take care, keep safe and ciao, ciao. Bye bye.